Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiki, also known as Reminisce Naturals. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I created my Ayurveda black soap. So you're gonna need um, an applicator bottle, apple cider vinaigrettes, and black soap, of course. And I did, later on in the video, added on two extra ingredients, which was chamomile, a chamomile tea bag, green tea bag, and a black tea bag. You're going to start off with a pot of water. I honestly eyeballed it and it was too much water. So yeah, I ended up having to add the whole thing of black soap later on in the video and I actually did not get that clip. I chose black soap and apple cider vinegar together because they're very clarifying for the um, hair and the scalp. But next time I may add glycerin to the mix to see if that uh, help combat the dryness effect of the black soap but I didn't use any oils because I felt like you know water and oil don't mix so I didn't feel like going through that process of emulsion and all that and I'm gonna put that off to the side and let it simmer and this is when I added decided to add the tea bags just for extra benefits and properties and nutrients and all that And I'm going to put that back on the stove to simmer. And I'm going to fill this up with apple cider vinegar, maybe a quarter of the way. I'm not too good with measurements, so don't quote me on that. I suck at measurements. And then we're going to pour the soap in right after everything dissolves properly. And in this clip, the soap is too light and it was not sizing up and I did not like that. So that's why I had to go back in and add the rest of the, um, the soap in there to darken it up to make it sudsy. And right here, I'm just going to show you guys how good it suds up. I did go in pretty hard with the shampoo because my hair had flakes in it and it was just, I think a product made my hair flake up so I had to go hard. And I did get the strands of my hair too, not just my scalp, but I did focus mainly on my scalp and I went in with a good scalp massage too. Now this shampoo, next time I would probably use this shampoo in sections, just for the simple fact is very stripping, is very drying, and my hair just was a tangled, matted mess after I rinsed it out. You guys see in a different clip, but it was just a mess, y'all. And I'm making sure I'm using the pads of my fingers to massage my scalp and not my fingernails. Okay, after rinsing this out, my hair was just, it was cleansed, I know that much, because my hair was just stripped out of, it was stripped of everything. But anyway, I'm just drying it off, and I'm just going to show you guys what I'm going to use to um, condition my hair with. And I also went in with my Ayurveda oil. Um, it includes neem oil, and it's very pungent and stinky, so I just use that for like hot oil treatments and a deep conditioner. But that's pretty much the end of this video, you guys. Um, let me know you guys' experience with black soap and if it strips your hair of everything also. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one.